Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci. Welcome to Gear Corner. This is a special edition reading. Uh, it's the last day of Christmas, so it's not too late to wish you a Merry Christmas in case you celebrate these days. If not, whatever else uh, holiday you are enjoying, have the best one. Or if you don't celebrate anything, just, you know, have an awesome last couple of days of 2022. In true Christmas spirit, I wanted to share with you my own gift for myself. I, I bought myself a present, <laughs> which is the War Mario uh, Centavo. And uh, I want to, first of all, show you the sounds, because, you know, and also tell you the story about this purchase, like why I bought the Centavo and everything. It was a, yeah, kind of a, a fun story. Let's get into all that. If you want to learn more about the gear I'm using in this video, my signal chain, uh, just want to check out the timestamps or whatever else, uh, open up the description box under the video, you'll find all these additional infos in there. Also, my merchandise, if uh, you want to, I don't know, get yourself something and support what I'm doing, I'd really, really appreciate it. So, the, uh, the Warm Audio Centavo. These pedals came out a couple of months ago and um, Guillaume and I, my buddy from the uh, Tuman YouTube channel, uh, we were really hyped about this one. Like the way it looks already is like, okay, oh, this better be good. This better be good. And um, our expectations were really like way up there. And um, for the first couple of weeks, maybe even months, not exactly sure, uh, these were sold out, like pre-sold before they even arrived to Tolman, so we couldn't even check them out. And then just a few days ago, maybe a week or something, uh, Guillaume told like, dude, dude, it's like, what? Uh, the pedals are here and they're not all sold, so let's, let's get one and, and test it. And I was like, oh no, I know how this will end. And we were really, we were really serious about this. Like we told like, okay, if the switch doesn't feel right, we're not gonna get it. If it doesn't sound way better than how we want it to sound, then we'll not get it. And then 20 minutes later, we both bought it. <laughs> so, you know. Long story short, we plugged it in, we were blown away, we compared it to a couple of similar clon style pedals, we we're still blown away, so we uh, grabbed our credit cards and, uh, you know. So the first thing I really wanted to know about this pedal is if it's hand-wired. Not necessarily because that will make it sound so much better, whatever, it's just something that I want to see if we're talking about a faithful recreation of the legendary pedal. I want it to be hand-wired because the original was and there are some certain components that need to be in there, etc. You know the, you know the thrill. Uh, I just wanted it to be hand-wired. I opened it up and yeah, it is hand-wired as you can see it on screen right now, uh, which is very impressive of course, especially considering the price point, which is a little bit lower than what's usual for these high-end hand-wired pedals. <laughs>
what's so cool about clans and clan style pedals? Um, I don't know many people who would use these with like a super high headroom clean amp, unless you don't crank the gain too much. Like if you keep the gain around 12 o'clock or even lower, it just mixes your clean signal, like a clean boost, with a bit of a, an added mid-range with a very low amount of clipping. That is how I see these pedals being used most of the time, especially when it's only about beefing up a guitar's tone. Let's say there's a Strat, sounds awesome, but it's a little too scooped to, to cut through a mix or just to feel a little more alive or just richer in the harmonic content and whatever then you would then you would gravitate towards a pedal like this And the other way I see these pedals being used, and I also gravitate towards using these, um, is stacked like in front of an overdriven amp or an other overdrive pedal. That's how I normally use my clan style pedals. I would have like something like a blues breaker circuit, something. Most of the time, it's the Toxic Twins, but it could be the King of Tone. It could be anything else that, like the the Double Trouble by um, Honeybee Amps and, you know, some other pedals that I really, really like and put a clan style pedal in front of that. And in that case, uh, you will, you can stay pretty low with the overdrive on both pedals here as well as on the second pedal in row and just stack them. <laughs> That's exactly what I did in the intro track in that song at the beginning of this video where I had the Toxic Twins at a super low gain setting just to give the the very clean amp a bit of a you know a bit of a hair some some little clipping and then I had the Centavo in front of it with again not a lot of gain really just a, a edge of breakup kind of something that kind of setting but the two pedals together gave me that very pretty mid-range focused but still pretty even evenly balanced tone that i absolutely adore <laughs> There's a cool little switch here, which is called the mod. Um, at its down setting, you have the traditional tones or circuit. And if you flick this up, you get that Jeff Beck kind of mod, which adds low end to 
the uh, the the circuit. So um, that means that if you, especially if you crank the gain a little over twelve o'clock, you hear it a lot more. Um, it just maintains way more of your low end compared to the traditional Klon Centaur, which would cut uh, a bit of that low end rumble. which is something that you might want, but not always. Because if you have the, the centavo in front of something gainy already, then you don't want to push the, the lows too much because it will lose its, its uh, articulation. So uh, in that case, I would definitely turn the mod off. All right, let's do a short comparison. I don't have an original Klon here. I don't have a Klon KTR here, but I have three other Klon style pedals that I really like. Uh, there's um, a DIY clone pedal, which I called, which I made and I called it the Just a Clone. Uh, I have the Archer by J Rocket and uh, a pretty new pedal, which is really, really good. That's the Unobtainium uh, by Crazy Tube Circuits. And its right side is um, supposedly a very, very true recreation of the original Centaur. <laughs> shown the inside of this pedal to someone who really, really knows pedals. And uh, that person told like, oh, that's really interesting. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? Is it crap or what's up? And that person told that it's really interesting because some of these parts are really hard to get and are like the real deal, like really cool parts. But some other parts are just run on the mill standard parts, which are absolutely fine. Like, it's not like, it's not good enough. It's just not, you know, not the real deal. And, um, and it's really interesting. He told those little diodes that I thought, those two inside, which I thought are those germanium diodes that need to be in a centaur. He told that those are not really germanium diodes. It's sort of a miscon misconception or like a misunderstanding, really. Um, those are not those. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, good to know. And now my thoughts on the Centavo and, um, and yeah, the comparison as well. Um, it just sounds a little sweeter than most, almost all of the other clan style pedals I've ever tried, including the KTR which sounded great, but it just sounded a little too harsh for my taste, uh, especially with a clean amp. Um, this one just seems to have a very nice, sweet tone, that, that mid-range thing, that clown thing, just sounds a little more pleasant to me, which I loved from the first moment on. And uh, also it just tends to have a really big amount of headroom. like. 
you can go up with the uh, gain knob relatively high and still get completely clean tones if you don't dig in too hard, which is something that this does better than almost all of the other clone style pedals that I ever tried. Again, including the actual Klon KTR, which is not the same thing as the Klon Centaur. Um, I really, really enjoy this pedal. It's ridiculously big. Like if you see it in my hands, it's probably like, oh yeah, this just looks like a, like a clown, normal. But if you have it in front of you and have it on your pedal board, it's like, what is this thing? <laughs> it's like a giant. About the comparison, just really shortly, uh, I'm still very pleased by the um, the DIY clone I, I put together, the Just a Clone. Um, it just sounds su surprisingly good. Like. It doesn't have enough volume compared to this one. Like you can boost way, way more with this output knob than the Just a Clown can. Also, the gain reacts very differently, and uh, that lags a little low end, even compared to this in its uh, standard setting, like without the bass mod. Uh, so that's already something. Then the uh, J Rocket Archer. I love that pedal, especially to boost other pedals or overdriven amps like that with the Mesa it's one of my favorite combinations ever because the Archer doesn't have this amount of low end the Archer doesn't have this amount of sparkle which are qualities that are actually really useful when you're boosting something you don't want too much high end and too much uh, bass because you, you'll end up with a fizzy and muddy tone right if, especially if we're talking about like a medium gain or high gain tone when we're talking about a clean amp and then a clown style pedal in front, then I kind of feel that the Archer just sounds a little, little too mid-rangey compared to this. Again, no right or wrong, just different takes on the same thing. And then the Unobtainium. That is a sick pedal. <laughs> I mean, wow. It's honestly in a blindfold test, I don't know if I could uh, tell which is which, which is the Centavo and which is the Unobtainium. Damn, damn close. So yeah, if you want a Dumble as well in a pedal, then the Unobtainium is probably the better choice because it's smaller, has two amazing sides. And uh, yeah, you get pretty much the same thing as this, just, you know, more compact and everything. So yeah, but this thing on its own has its sex appeal. It just looks killer and it sounds beautiful so i think i'm really i'm really happy about my purchase <laughs> all right take care everyone make sure to leave a comment below uh let me know what you think about the centavo about the comparison i did or of course if you surprised yourself with a christmas present something similar as well uh yeah let me know in the comments below and see you in the next video bye bye